Guys, it's Christina with Heart Acres Homestead and the Geocache family. We are out harvesting sunflowers this morning. And middle child stripped the sunflower stalks of the leaves. And the boy is going to take the leaves Excuse to me. the chickens and the ducks so they can dance and play in it. And then we rubbed out all of the center uh, flower, dried up flower petals. Um, on the sunflowers and so I've got one two three four five and then there's kind of some random smaller ones in there the seeds aren't as big but um, it looks so different over there now with the sunflowers gone but I'm hoping this gives the tomatoes and the peppers a little bit more sun now um, and since the sunflowers are pretty much dried up uh, I wanted to go ahead and pull them and then I can maybe throw some lettuces out here um, because they'll still get the shade of the tomatoes but won't get as big uh, before the tomatoes are uh, done producing. We pulled our first six small tomatoes that finally ripened and uh, so I'm very happy about that. I've got another big pepper down here. The baby eggplant my mama gave me that she grew from seed has a flower, even though it's so tiny. <clears throat> I'm gonna let the flower stay, but I'm gonna come and pull it so that it's not putting all the energy into uh, trying to produce fruit when it's still this small. My big tomatoes, they're getting closer, but they're still rock hard. But if you can see in there, there it's just loaded. And so, going all the way up. Hi, baby, baby, my bee babies. I don't know if you can see my bee babies. I love my bee babies. It's so funny. They get out here and they bump into you when you're working. And it's like, oh, pardon me. Got a couple down there. They're almost ready. Can you see it? Oh, leaf is in the way. Almost. We're getting there. These guys are much smaller. Cherry variety. Good morning, Stewie. Drinking hose water. And we had a slight casualty when my husband was trying to pull the sunflower stalk. This whole guy came up with it, so we had to just snap the stalk. And hopefully we didn't disturb him so bad that he quits growing. But watered everything good. Those are my uh, lemon cucumbers coming up there. So hopefully they can start moving out this way to start getting some sun. And I have one sunflower left out here that's not quite ready to harvest yet. And so there they are. My little tomato clan, pepper clan. They did really good out here. I, I like this spot. I'll go over and show you guys the corn. I watered everything already. We're getting ready to go help God Pop today. He's having a, a yard sale. I'm going to come back through and I'm going to dig up my lavender. I'm going to dig up the lemon balm. I'm going to put them in pots. They are struggling out here. They're just, they're getting overtaken with the marigolds. The marigolds are so aggressive and growing so i'm gonna go ahead and just put them in some big pots and that's my corn lilies are almost done the lettuce has bolted so we've got lettuce seeds again which i just like it out here the milk worked fantastic out here on the plants that had the powdery mildew so i still got to go and do another um, dose of it but um, it's looking fantastic Look at the flowers on these. Wow. The seed pods are fantastic. This is the fennel, the green fennel. I've never seen it actually get to this point. That's pretty cool. It smells amazing. This plant just smells so good. Oh, this guy looks like he's getting close. That's my dark fennel. I do have a baby from this year from the dark one it's seeded so I've got this little guy in here so I'm gonna take him out and move him more towards the back so he's not embedded in the marigolds 
right. Corn there. I need to get out here and put some vitamins on the grass and then um, cut it again. It's starting to lay pretty flat, but yeah, powdery mildew. Oh, huge night and day difference putting milk on these. So I still have these guys over here that are not doing so good, um, but I just, there was like two plants. So I may go ahead and just pull that one and leave this one. This one over here is still struggling. It's looking good at the bottom, but we've lost so many leaves. It is flowering though, and there's a bee baby in there. A couple bee babies. Hey bee babies. Hey bee babies. My mums are starting to show. Oh, it's just so pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna dig this lavender all up. We got a rogue morning glory over there. Yeah, definitely. I'll just put the lavender in one big pot. But yeah, big improvement. So very, very positive about that. So I got to go do the backyard um, tour again uh, just because it was so dark the other night. You guys couldn't see anything. I couldn't see anything. Um, and so I'm going to go out there and kind of update that one before we go to God Pop's house while I'm watering. So... So yeah, rhubarb is hanging, hanging tight. And then this one is the one I'm gonna dig up. This guy likes a lot of sun and he just did not get very big uh, cause he's not getting enough sun. I may move the bee balm too. I think these guys need more sun. So I'm gonna leave this for shade flowers. I think next year, um, I was hoping these guys would get bigger and bush out faster and they just didn't. So. Live and learn, grow as you go. So that's what we're gonna do. All right guys, I'll catch you up next time. Have a good day.